Tonight we're going to put together a Dollar Tree meal for two on a budget. Did I hear cheese? This is the stuff we got for Christmas for the Valentine form, huh? We're also going to do a dessert. Happy Valentine's Day. I am so happy that you are here to celebrate the day with me. And also joining us tonight, of course, will be Bill and the pups. I hope I can get done to share with you all everything I have in mind because it is going to be a jam-packed night. And if this is the first time you're joining us, my name is Shelby. I am so excited that you are here. Typically on my channel, I share a ton of Dollar Tree content. And actually, Dollar Tree is going to play a part in our Valentine's Day, of course, because I kind of live, breathe, and eat, literally, Dollar Tree. It's my happy place, my home away from home. So yes, we're going to get this show on the road. So I'm very happy you're here. What do you say? Let's go. Mr. Brin in the kitchen. Tonight we're going to put together a Dollar Tree meal for two on a budget. All right, Bill is somebody that loves to do research. He loves baking, cooking. He loves discovering new recipes. So everybody, what he found is a recipe where you use ramen, right? Ramen noodles. So what we thought we would do tonight, since it's Valentine's Day, is do a little Dollar Tree dinner. Now, we're not going to do what we did last year with the whole challenge thing and creating two meals because it's already February 14th and I got to get this uploaded for you guys. But Dollar Tree carries this stuff, a five pack. This is the top ramen. And it, this is the beef. We were looking for chicken, but chicken was fresh out. Yeah. Yeah, we were lucky to find the any. Beef, yeah, the almost, beef was almost gone. <laughs> All right, so you get five packs. So um, here, we'll get set up and then I'll turn the camera back on and Bill can fill you in on exactly what we're gonna do. And besides the meal, we're also gonna do a dessert. <laughs> going to need is a packet of instant ramen noodles without the seasoning, an egg, two tablespoons of butter, ooh, and some cheese. Did I hear cheese? Yeah, I grated some Colby Jack, but you can use whatever cheese you'd like. So I'm going to put in two cups of water and then break up the noodles of one ramen package and boil it for uh, uh, three minutes. All right, the first thing you want to do is bring two cups of water to the boil. Just cook for three minutes. So I'm sure most of you know that ramen comes with this little packet of seasoning. What I didn't realize is actually right on the package, it tells you if you want to lower the sodium, use less seasoning. So we were on the right train of thought when we said that we would cook our ramen without using the seasoning that came with it. That's how we're going to lower the sodium. We're not going to use the ramen seasoning packet at all. Bill will just season the noodles with uh, other seasonings. Now it looks like ramen cooks up quite quickly. 
And it also says right on the package that there is no added MSG. So that's a bonus. All right, now that that cooked, I'm going to drain the ramen, let them cool off. While we wait for the ramen to cool, you're probably asking yourself, what the heck is Bill going to make? Well, we're going to use the cold ramen to make a ramen frittata. All right, I'm just going to use one egg. To that, I'm going to add just a dash of milk. Next thing I'm going to do is add my spices. I'm using Italian seasoning, but you can use salt, pepper, whatever you have on hand, chives, whatever you like. Now what do you do? Now we're going to mix it up. We can add a little bit of cheese. I'm going to throw in a little cheese for Shelby just to get her going. And then add all the cold ramen noodle. Now we're going to fry the whole thing up on a buttered skillet. This is two tablespoons of butter. I don't think I'm going to need two tablespoons, so I'm just going to get about half of it on. And when this is nice and hot, just pour it all out and get it all even. All right, Bill told me that it said divide into four sections. And I believe why that is, is to make it easy for flipping. So he asked me to handle this step for him. I think that looks pretty good. Kind of looks like a giant Rice Krispie treat. <laughs> Mr. Brin in the kitchen. Now that we have uh, both sides brown, we're going to turn the heat down and add more Shelby's cheese. So just remember what you just saw, we did not use the seasoning packet that comes uh, with the ramen mix. But 
if you don't have worries about sodium go ahead and use it or you can alter the uh, amount also the amount use. just mix it in with the egg mixture instead of our italian spices just add however much of the package you want to add All right, we got to work on dessert for tonight's Valentine's Day dinner. I picked up this Pillsbury traditional yellow cake mix at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. But here's the little uh, surprise. I want to make a heart-shaped cake out of this, but I don't have a heart-shaped pan. But don't despair, I have from the Dollar Tree a round cake pan and a square cake pan. So I'm going to show you how you can use a box mix and a round pan and a square pan and create a beautiful heart-shaped cake. Science. All right, so I'm not going to show all the steps about making a boxed cake. You guys all know how to do that, I'm sure. This particular mix uses three eggs, half a cup of oil, a cup of water. So I'm going to put together the batter and then I will be back. Bill prepared the pans. He put Crisco on them and flour. you can buy canned frosting at the Dollar Tree also but since I already have all the ingredients for my homemade buttercream frosting that's what I'm going to make um, and this is going to be a single layer cake I believe is how we're going to make it so I'm going to use a stick of butter some confectionery sugar a little milk either vanilla extract or almond extract and uh, make my own frosting now. And I've shared making my frosting on the channel before, so um, I'm not going to film the making of it, but we will film putting the heart cake together and frosting it. In fact, I'll probably make the frosting pink. All right, so I have my frosting all made. Um, it's redder in, or, you know, more pink in person. It looks very pale here, but it is a little bit brighter in person. So I think this will be enough for the cake, but we'll see.
crumb coat and now what I'm going to do is put the whole thing in the refrigerator probably for five or ten minutes let this crumb coat firm up and then that way I can go over it with a nicer coat of frosting and make the whole thing look smoother and pretty Alright, so again, this isn't perfect, but I'm not selling this cake. I am not a professional baker. Now, I could put some other decorations on it. I could make some more frosting and decorate it. You could lay a doily on top and then sprinkle confectionery sugar and remove the doily and give it a lace pattern. But I think even just plain and simple like this it's making the perfect valentine's day dessert It looks like the ramen frittatas are just about done, so we're going to plate those up and have a little Valentine's Day dinner. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. And taste what that. I'm going to uh, see what that tastes like, and then maybe add some of the wild fare. Shot it to it. Ooh, we got that at Dollar Tree yeah. too. We'll see what happens when the shot hits the fan. So easy a five year old to do. Give me a five year old. You know, it's, it tastes really great. Probably tastes better with some shot on it. Let me see. Very good. I agree. It has a very like potato, like texture, almost flavor. Mmm. I really like it. Big thumbs up, Phil. So, ramen noodle frittata. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day.
Thank you to each and every one of you for spending your time with us today. Your friendship is so valued. We'll be back again very soon. And remember, our friends, until then, please be well.